ever since he was about 60 days old, we really said, hey, this bull's got something. And first show out, it was San Antonio. He was named reserve champion overall as a baby. The bull is backed by super cow families, both sides of his pedigree. He stems from the 98 over 6 line, which is the matriarch of our polled foundation here at V8 Ranch. This cow family produces for us year after year after year. That consistency and those years of productivity and those cows that are standing behind 458 hopefully will just continue the, the legacy of great cattle. Pedigree on him is outstanding, coming from two national champions, his sire and his dam. He's a bull that has a light birth weight. He had an actual birth weight of 76 pounds. And I think if you see from the beginning of a 76 pound birth weight calf born out in the pasture here at the ranches to the genetic jump that he's had as far as weight and performance, I think it's real impressive. He's a bull that's very correct from the ground up. He stands on four correct feet. And he's a bull when you ask him to travel or you watch that bull travel out in the pasture or in the trap, He's a very long striding bull that's very comfortable and relaxed as he moves and travels. Yeah, I have a bull that could go to a show and be arguably the biggest bone, the stoutest, the uh, uh, most masculine, and then you can also describe him as athletic and youthful looking and that combination just doesn't come along every day. And To have that all in one package and then for him to have the genetics that he does coming from two national champions, it's just uh, Really, really neat opportunity to be able to be around one like that and to show one like that. Every once in a while, there's an animal that comes along that we get a little more excited about than the others. For us, 458 was one of those bulls. And on the V8 Ranch Facebook page, they announced that 458 was actually the 2016 V8 Bull of the Year. And they put his picture up, and it's the picture that I had taken a couple weeks back. Well, when I went back and looked at it, it was actually just this morning, the picture had almost 12,000 likes on the ranch's Facebook page. So not only, you know, was I excited about the picture, but the fact that 12,000 people from around the globe took the time to like that picture, it really got me excited about, you know, the future of the bull here at the ranch, but also the future of the bull anywhere the Brahmin breed has an influence. We've been very fortunate to have uh, good partners on the bull in J.D. Hudgens Lock Division uh, as well as Sam Sparks and so all three of us together we, we feel pretty confident that he can have an impact in the future. Because he has no 380 in him, no Avery, no Liberty, no 191, he can be mated on those females that carry those lines that have been very popular not only here at V8 Ranch but at leading branches across the uh, Brahmin world. We've bred the bull to just a ton of cows here on the ranch. As many 380 daughters as we can find. Uh, just a lot of the really, really top cows on the ranch. Uh, the last few years, we've been looking for a bull that offers some outcross genetics. And this bull, we feel, is the one to come along that's different on both sides of his pedigree.